trypophobia. Because this is kind of scary looking when you look at it up close. Lots of like little holes. <laughs> but this is uh, a pretty bizarre fruit. It's called Kusa Dogwood. And I actually uh, foraged this. This isn't something that you can buy at stores usually. Uh, it's got like a really, really bad shelf life. Like once you pick it, you should eat it. It's normally grown as an ornamental tree. So if you go to like a lot of parks, this will just be growing like everywhere. I actually picked these in um, Central Park. Uh, it's actually an Asian fruit though. If you go to Japan um, or like China, people will uh, pick these and will we'll eat them. It's like a normal, normal thing. You might find like a few vendors selling it, but it's usually just something that people will come across and just like pick off and eat. The flavor of these fruits varies quite a lot tree by tree. So if you are foraging for them, it's kind of recommended that you pick one and you try it. And if it tastes good, that's a good tree, but sometimes it tastes like really bitter and acrid, so you don't want you don't want those. You also want to make sure it's ripe. To tell that it's ripe, it should um, yield under pressure. These actually are, are known to uh, to get damaged on the tree just from bumping into other fruits on the tree or on, on just like the branches of the tree. Uh, so they are they are quite fragile. Uh, you don't want to eat it if it falls. You want to go to the tree and just pick it off. It, if it comes off the stem easily, that means it's ready, basically. If you have to force it off, um, it might not be completely ripe. Almost looks like kind of like a like, lychee. When these are young, they actually are like very ridgy. Like there's the, these little um, these little bumps stick out quite drastically. If it's really bumpy like that, you don't want it. You want it to be like a little bumpy, but you know, like mostly like smooth, where you can like run a finger across it. You can eat the skin, but it's not supposed to be very good. So most people will just like break it open and eat the eat the inside. So I'll do that first, but I'll try the skin as well just to see what it tastes like. So I'm just gonna break this open. It comes apart pretty easily. Inside it's kind of like custardy, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's quite a lot of seeds there. Uh, I heard that each one of these little little holes there is actually um, for seed. I don't I actually don't know if that's true. It doesn't seem like there's that many seeds in here, but I heard that somewhere. Uh, it comes out pretty easily, just like that. It's basically just mush. Um, so if you want to eat it, you can kind of just like squeeze it out of the fruit and then. Try it. Hmm. It's good. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually really good. Uh, the texture's kind of gross. It's got like a, a grittiness to it. Uh, I think towards the, the skin is where it's sandy. So if you just like suck out the middle and don't really go digging around like for the last little bits of fruit um that would be pretty good it tastes like a little bit like like a very mild like apricot yeah something like a peach or an apricot it tastes like it tastes like that uh when you're eating it you don't want to eat the seeds the seeds are um are inedible so that probably, I don't know if it'll poison you, but it's probably not good for your digestion. Now this, I think, is gonna be pretty gross. I mean, the, I mean, if not the flavor, just the texture of this is very, like, rough. But, um, you can eat it, so let's see. Ah. It's awful. Um, yeah, don't don't eat the skin. I mean, even if you can, it's it's really bitter, and the texture is really awful. It's like leathery and sandy and gritty, and it tastes bad. Let me try this one that is. It doesn't seem like it's completely ripe, just to see if it's okay. So I'm gonna break that open. Yeah, it's a little um. It looks okay in the middle, but it's a little drier. It's not as juicy. Um, it's okay, but the, the flavor isn't as strong 
So I think you can eat it, but I mean, if you can get like the ones that are just like bright, dark, or that are like this kind of red, red, like this very like dark red compared to like one that has like some yellow to it, uh, go for this. So yeah, that is Kusa dogwood. It's a very interesting fruit. It's it looks really weird. If you got trypophobia, you might want to avoid it. But otherwise, try it out. It's got a real nice, uh, real nice flavor. Decent texture. Avoid the the skin and the the flesh near the skin, and you'll be okay. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, don't click out on the window just yet, okay? Listen to me for one second. I just want to take a quick moment and tell you about my Patreon page that I just started. This is a way for fans of my series to help contribute and make my show even greater, and to expand on content, get new videos, and give you some cool bonuses and rewards. So if you have a moment, just click on this video right here, click on me, and it'll be it'll take you to my Patreon page where you can learn more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. I, I made this video too long. Um, yeah, you can, if you don't want to go to the Patreon page, it's okay. Um, you can also click on one of these fruit videos. There's, there's one over here. You can go to the, the next episode, and you can go down over here to go to the last week's episode, and, yeah. Oh well, yeah, sub subscribe. Subscribing is, is helpful, and, um, like it. Like it's good. Li liking it is good, um, and leave a comment if you want to leave a comment, you know, tell me what you think, if you liked it, you hated it. Yeah, um, okay, that's it. Bye-bye.